what Pan-Africanism, I think, really needs to do is get some Ws on the board. Because one way that we galvanise people to our people to this movement and what it can do for us is when they start to see it actually producing something, it actually producing something tangible that's Thanks. of benefit. Um, you know, if I look at if we look at like the Jewish community for, for as an example, you know, they, they they might they might tell their kids, for example, um, yeah, you know, World War Two, the Holocaust happened, and you know, loads of our people got you know hurt and killed and all that kind of stuff but you know and i'm just leaving the modern day politics out of this for this for the moment i'm just using this as an example but even though this horrible atrocity happened to us there's a country called israel out there in the world and if any of you ever feel unsafe you can go there and you can live and you've got something and they've got something to balance that trauma off against that is positive for them and I feel like with us, we haven't got anything like, like every year, like here, because it's all, it's October here. So we're, we're just going through Black History Month. And, you know, it's what you typically expect to see. Slavery this, slavery that, blah, blah, blah. Nothing else beyond that. And it's like young people that I come into contact with, they don't want to know about all of that anymore. They want to know about how can I prosper? What can I do? Uh, to help me fulfill or live the best version of, they're not saying that exactly, but the, you know what I mean? They're aspiring for things, but there isn't any infrastructure that my generation or the generation before me has put in place for them to tap into. And I think that's where we're falling down. We can have these conversations, which I think are fantastic and they're really good because how else would I get to speak to you or Dr. Lumumba or LMA? But we actually have to start thinking about what we're doing offline mm -hmm. and what we're doing tangibly to start getting some Ws on the board. Because when we're talking about these religions today, everyone who's following their own religions, like the Sikhs, the Hindus, the Buddhists, the Jew, they, they, they get something out of their religion, something tangible that they can use, build upon. And I think that's what we need to start thinking about. How can we get some Ws on the board as soon as possible? And but and brother, um, before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you for supporting the channel. And remember, here at Lumumba Speaks, we always bet on black. Peace.